Hello there mates, in this video I'll be walking you through how to set up HDOSD on Ardu Pilot. And while it's true that Ardu Pilot does not have a proper OSD configurator, special for HDFPV, one of our colleagues deployed this HDOSD tool to help us properly lay out all the OSD elements without doing hit and miss. Just a disclaimer, this will still involve some manual setting of things up not the best but better than having nothing so with that let's get started first let's look at how analog osd is configured here's what screen layout one looks like in my setup with all my desired osd elements which appear good on analog fpv i can toggle from various screen layouts using channel 7 on my radio with osd channel parameter set to 7 accordingly and a switch method set to PWM. I have set the arming screen to show screen layout 1 upon arming so it will display all the necessary information. Also I have set screen layout 3 for this arm where it will show the flight statistics. If it goes to fail safe, automatically it will switch to screen layout 1. Basically I have set up 3 layouts Here's my screen layout 1, layout 2, and the disarm screen. Toggling channel 7 and my radio lets me cycle through the 3 OSD layouts that I have configured. Now let's proceed on how we can configure the HDOSD. Go to the full parameter selection under the config tab. Then we will configure the serial port where the HDVTX is connected. In my case, I am using Waxnail with the UART lines connected to serial 4. Type serial on the search box to narrow down the parameters. Here I will need to configure serial 4 as intended. Change the serial protocol to work with the HDFPV setup. For Waxnail and DJI O3, set protocol to 42 or display port. If you have other DJI FPV, set it to 33. Next is to change the baud rate to 115-200. Type 115 on the value for the baud rate. Click on the right changes to update the settings. After which, we need to set up the OSD type. In the search box, type OSD. Look for the OSD underscore type parameter, then change the value to 5 to set it to display port for Waxnail and O3 setups. Click on the right settings to update the changes. Next is we need to change the OSD text resolution. Type OSD1 underscore T on search box and look for the OSD text res parameter. Change the value to 1 to enable a bigger resolution for the OSD layout. Do the same for OSD2 and OSD3 as well. Don't forget to write the changes afterwards. Now we can perform a reboot on the flight controller to ensure all changes are reloaded. Here's how screen layout 1 looks like on my HD FPV. On Waxnail, the OSD is centered by default. To maximize the entire resolution, Rearrange the elements by moving the OSD layout to the upper left most position. Back on Mission Planner, we need to pull out the parameters from our flight controller. Go to the full parameters list, then click on refresh params button to reload all the parameters. After which, export the parameters by clicking the save to file button. 
Now your parameters are ready for export. Open your browser and navigate to the HDOSD tool page. The link is in the description below. Here you can see a summary of the steps as well as some configurable options. From the drop down menu, select wax nail if you're using one. Optionally, you can place a bigger 16 by 9 background. Now, open the parameter file that you saved earlier using Notepad. Highlight everything and copy paste it to the HD OSD tool page. You will notice that the layout gets updated upon pasting the contents of the parameter file with a layout similar to what we have seen earlier from the HD OSD. To reconfigure, select the OSD element that you want to move across the grid. At the bottom section of the page, you will see the updated coordinates of the OSD elements that were modified. Continue moving the elements to match your desired layout. You can also add another OSD element by dragging the item from the list on the right, then it should also appear on the section below, along with the coordinates that you chose for that element. Next is to export the updated OSD elements. Highlight all the lines, then copy-paste it over to Notepad, then save it as a new text file. On Mission Planner, click on the Compare Params button, then load the text file that we have saved earlier. Here you will see a list of existing values and new values. Click on Continue to proceed with the update. If you get prompts regarding the values, just click on the Yes button. Click on the Right Params button to update the parameters. Going to the onboard OSD tab, we cannot verify the updated layout, but due to the limitations of Mission Planner, we cannot see the entire grid. Now we need to export the new parameters. Click on the Refresh Params button to reload all the parameters, then export it by clicking on the Save to File button. Save the new parameter as a new file. Using Notepad again, open the updated parameter file, then copy paste everything to the HDOSD tool page. This time, you will customize the screen layout too. Select OSD2 from the pull down menu, then rearrange the elements as desired, the same as what we did with the OSD1. Copy paste the updated OSD elements over to Notepad. Then save it as a new text file. Similarly, we do the same process for OSD3 layout. After rearranging the elements, export it to Notepad and save it as a new text file. Back on Mission Planner, we will do the same process we did for OSD1. Click on the Compare Params button and load the text file we saved earlier for OSD2. Also, we do the same for the OSD Layout 3. Click on the right params to update the changes in the parameters. Perform a reboot on the flight controller to reload everything.
power up the flight controller with LiPo battery and check the updated OSD layout on the HD FPV screen. Now you can see that the entire screen is fully utilized. Scrolling across the screens, you can see the different layouts that were updated. Note that there are some HD OSD elements such as this storage information that can't be repositioned or removed, although this is only visible on the live feed. This concludes my video on how to set up the HD OSD. Yes, it is tedious and troublesome, but again for now this is the best tool for setting up Ardu Pilot HD OSD layout. I hope that you will find this video handy as well. Thank you for watching.